There is a huge missing link here between none of his family members feeling significant charm for guitars and the conclusion that the music training received by Jimmy's family members must be flawed. The question is asking that from the information presented in support of the conclusion, which of the following can be inferred? See, this conclusion is based on only one premise that the family members do not feel a significant charm for guitars. And therefore, our expectation from the correct answer choice is that a lack of appreciation for guitars suggests a lack of proper training. With that broad expectation from the correct answer choice, Let's look at the choices here. See, any answer choice that does not include the buzzword guitar is not going to be correct because this extreme conclusion is based on just one premise that is the lack of charm for guitars. So answer choices such as A and C are not going to be correct. These are generic and extreme in nature. These do not relate to the lack of appreciation for guitar and the conclusion that the training is flawed. Then, see the conclusion is about the family members not getting proper training. Whether Jimmy prefers listening to guitar over listening to something else is just additional information. This is not going to have any impact on the reasoning. It has been stated that Jimmy finds guitar less enchanting than the sound of any other type of string instrument. So Jimmy anyway finds guitar less enchanting among the string instruments. This comparison of guitar with non-string instruments is just additional information that is not going to have any impact on the reasoning involved here. It's between D and E now. Answer choice D is a trap. This is an amateur answer choice. It's not that flawed music training is always going to lead to a lack of appreciation for guitar. A flawed music training may lead to different types of problems. See, if this is the set that represents flawed music training, then a lack of appreciation for guitar is going to be a small subset of it. It's not that all of the flawed training is going to lead to a lack of appreciation for guitar only. Some of it may lead to a lack of appreciation for some other instrument. So answer choice D suffers from the problem of extrapolation. This is not the correct answer choice. Answer choice E in fact fills the missing link by suggesting that if somebody is not charmed by the sound of guitar, then one's training must be flawed. C. Answer choice E says that unflawed music training always leads to an appreciation for guitar. And therefore, if anybody's training is unflawed, then that person will belong to a different set here, C. This is the set for flawed training and this is the set for unflawed training. And yes, if somebody's training is unflawed, C. This subset here is not a part of unflawed training here. So yes, unflawed music training always leads to an appreciation for guitar. Lack of appreciation is a part of this set here. Unflawed music training leads to an appreciation for guitar. This can be established. E is the correct answer choice. 